All right, guys, in this video, we'll take a look at how to execute the backhand net block, which is a shot for advanced players. The strategical application for this shot is for deception and also to cause the opponent physical stress, mainly in the legs. The main focus of this shot is to get into the net early with the racket head high whilst remaining in a crouch position. This shot is especially suited for you if you have the strength to get low and you're generally quick moving forward. So in this frame, take a look at the shuttle with the cork pointing upwards immediately after contact. Cork control is essential for the shot and shots around the net because the cork movement will ultimately determine where the shuttle ends up. The aim is to stall the shuttle in mid-flight so that its horizontal movement is limited so as not to push the shuttle too deep into the opponent's court, somewhere between 1-4 to four feet from the net. Your lunge towards the net has to be huge and your arms need to be stretched apart, sort of like a tightrope walker, which gives you balance and shot quality. Your head and eyes should be directed squarely at the shuttle. From this angle you can see the demand on the legs and arms because you have to hold your center while reaching out for the shuttle with perfect balance. Body lean is a way to describe how to use your body to execute the shot. I'll explain in more detail, but just see how I'm rocking back and forth to emphasize body lean. So as I said, this shot is in part for deception, so you can feign a net kill or a drive to the body from this position. Again, I'm showing you how to body lean to add energy and control to the shuttle. This is the backhand net block, so use the flat part of your thumb and the backhand grip. You may remember the hitchhiker's wrist from my grip and backhand shot videos? Well, the 90 degree angle in your wrist is crucial to pulling off this shot, so take a look. Also key to executing this shot is having extremely loose grip and being able to open the fingers around the handle. The racket head should be way back while you reach out with your arm almost at full stretch. At the last second, you can hit a net kill or you can block. So kill, block, kill, block, kill, block. From a front view, you can see how I'm leading with the bottom of my racket, which is what gives you the potential to play both the kill and the block. Opening your fingers around the grip will allow you to bring the racket back further. So what's body lean? In order to feel and hit the shuttle, you use your whole body. Just like a boxer uses the whole body to punch, or a football player uses the whole body to kick. Similarly, touch in badminton is mastered when you can feel the shuttle with the body. It's a wave of energy produced from your core, somewhere in the solar plexus or gut area and works its way outwards to your limbs and fingers, like a tsunami starts somewhere deep in the ocean. I'll explain this fundamental principle in a separate video. So feel and hit with the body and with the fingers. See how I'm able to manipulate my racket with my fingers. Use your thumb as a pivot by loosening the other fingers around the grip. Pinch with your index finger. So see here how I've loosened up all my fingers to allow the racket to sit and pivot on my thumb and use my index finger and thumb to pinch the handle if I decide to hit a net kill or body drive. The only way to pull off the shot is by getting low. It's about as aggressive as a smash because of the damage it can do to the opponent. The strings have to be facing up at the point of contact in order to send the shuttle up more than forward. The upward movement of the shuttle ensures that the trajectory is loopy, creating something like a hairpin net shot. To do this, you have to tumble the cork and shuttle forwards so that the weight of the cork, every time it turns back towards you in the rotation, limits the forward momentum ultimately stalling the shuttle in mid-flight. So feel the weight of the shuttle and guide it to its destination. So that's it. If you like this video and you want to learn more, please subscribe to my channel. Also check out my new online virtual coaching website at www.titanathletics.co.uk where I offer a range of services from face-to-face -face consultation, to video analysis of your shots and matches, and even virtual coaching. Thanks for watching.